Hey! Welcome back, everybody. The Cultivator, the tea update, the farming update, is happening for Rust Console Edition. That's right, for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And I'm Jade Monkey. All right, so let's go over this. Now, either by the time you're watching this or shortly after you watch this, this update will be hitting Main Branch Rust Console Edition May 25th. Now, the time for this to come back online should be roughly 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, give or take. Now, we should see the updates sometimes anywhere between 6 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time to like 11 a.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time, but you can get the download, but then you, we won't see the update typically until the wipe happens around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just so you know. So what does this all mean? What's coming in? Um, it's finally here for Rust Console Edition Main Branch. It's been over there on PTB for a hot second. What is this terrain update? We have an event going on. Uh, everything's kind of swirling around this, and it's very, very exciting. So uh, we're going to get into it here. And we got a small blurb here from Double Eleven, and we're going to go over that as well. Lots of new items to go over, buffs, teas, all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, by the way, uh, same day there will be a skin set rotation, so uh, we'll be covering that the day of. And if you like any of the skin sets now, just, you know, consider grabbing one of those bad boys if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to read this, and I know my uh, my current setup is a little weird, so you won't be able to see the window itself, but these are screenshots directly from Ross Console Edition. I'll just read you the quick intro blurb here. It says... Uh, it's the dev blog, actually. It says, the sixth content update for Rust Console Edition is just around the corner. Tomorrow, May 25th, marks the highly anticipated, or today, depending on when you watch this, uh, marks the highly anticipated release of Cultivator for, the bo for both Xbox and PlayStation platforms. As always, this update will coincide with the monthly wipe and and this time it will bring a, bring a blueprint wipe. Jeez, I can't read. In preparation for the new changes. Okay, so lots of crazy stuff here. Lots of new items. We'll kind of hit these too. Uh, there is a free skin floating around. I did have some incorrect information before, but I do know how to grab that for certain now. Uh, we've got a little blurb on that as well. And then this terrain update that changes the way the game looks across the board, but also a lot of these new junk piles that come in that kind of give us a nice little indication as to what could be on the horizon for us on the Rust Console Edition. No official word yet, but um, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying... It didn't really come in until vehicles were in the game. Just, you know, weird. You know, like modular vehicles. Don't know. Just putting that out there. Uh, your boy's sniffing these out uh, pretty pretty frequently. So just letting you know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so if you're looking for the free skin, that's going on till the 26th of May. Now, it's not signing in to get it. You actually have to go to the store. That's why I made the correction here. So if you're on PlayStation Network or Microsoft, just go search for uh, Rust Console Edition. You should see the two-year anniversary skin. It will be free. You hit that, you download it. You can do it for any account that you've got for Rust Console Edition, and you'll be good to go. And that's how you do it. I know before I just thought you had to sign in. I was like, oh... I guess, I guess that's not a thing. And during this event, there'll also be our two-year anniversary for Rust Console Edition. You do start with a party hat, and your rock is changed into a delicious-looking cake with a two-year-old candle on top. Pretty nice. All right. Uh, again, with this update, there's lots of crazy stuff that comes in with the farming cultivator. Um, you'll hear me say, like, farming cultivator, tea update, whatever. Um, Lots of new items. We've got uh, like pumps. We've got sprinkler systems. Uh, you saw one over here. These are functional pieces. We have the mixing table that brings in all kinds of crazy tea buffs. There's been all kinds of videos I've done on that here on the channel. Uh, pumps, pump valves, um, a new system for if you've used electricity, this will look very familiar to you. It is the uh, hose tool. Uh, it's very similar to the wire tool. Uh, another reason why I think both of these have to come out before custom servers come out. Again, no official word yet on custom servers. We will let you know. Um, lots of crazy new items. And oddly enough, it is organized under electrical. Or is it because they use the same underpinning system? Wink, prob probably. All right, so with the train update here, I do want you guys to see this. A couple things of note. Things are very, very dark now at nighttime, and there's no way to jack it up. Remember in the settings we could do that? You can no longer. So night times are going to be pretty dark. Um, a lot of people will be like, oh, man, that sucks. But no, no, no. If you're solo, think about it for a second. These are great times to do, like, secret ops, to move your loot between bases or small bunkers, uh, to run to the outpost, to exchange the stone for wood, stuff like that. You can even farm in the nighttime. It's a little hectic, but you can still do it. And it's also a great time to do all of your cultivator-type stuff, your farming-type stuff, your cloning, 
your uh, your growing, your crossbreeding, all of that good stuff. There's a huge robust system inside of there. Um, clean water is now a massive resource. You will see large groups or just people in general fighting for water sources and clean water sources a lot. You'll also see that people will be using water jugs a lot. Um, that's why you'll be buying them out of the bandit camp. I promise you, you will. Um, lots of crazy new stuff here. We got tons of new berries, like five new berries, potatoes. Yeah, that's right, potatoes. Um, all the new genetics and stuff are attached to anything that you would grow inside of the planter box. And you're like, wow, what, what does that exactly do? Well, these different traits can uh, both make them grow faster and have a higher yield, among other things. There's lots of different pieces that go along with this. Um, but like one crop plot can produce a lot of materials, whether it's berries, cloth, potatoes or a mixture of those things yes and you can also crossbreed them and kind of like mix and match those traits kind of like pokemon breeding am i right kind of yeah a little bit so yeah it's it's quite robust it's a fantastic game loop uh even if you're not into it somebody will be on the server and i'm telling you those t's for the mixing table are going to be a thing if you didn't know already massive buffs for those across the board um, we also have access to the composter now, and we can make fertilizer, and we can sell that for scrap, along with cloth, just so you know. And uh, that all happens over at the Bandit Camp. Uh, just a little flavor of some of the new items that come in here. The pumps, um, you've got the sprinklers in the back, valves, and all that good stuff. So um, I've got something that's definitely more in-depth on all of those things. We'll put it up on the end screen once we're done here very in-depth but just know that we have all of these things cooking here the train updates along with this is going to help with performance across the board we have everybody on our team that's on i think on every platform so we uh, even by lasers on like the first core system for the xbox and he says it's running great for him it really does look like a brand new game and if you've got a next gen console it also runs very well on that as well it looks fantastic um, just lots of really great things across the board. You'll notice that the terrain is a bit flatter, as you do know that our next big update, it, it's not with this update, but it'll be the next update that happens on PTB, will be horses. Uh, and then they'll actually be generating the horse dung itself. Uh, but just know that the composters now can take horse dung for our update now for May 25th, as these do spawn randomly on the ground, and they also spawn randomly inside of barrels until the horses do come in. So we pretty much have access to that gameplay loop now, and then uh, when horses come in, it just becomes more robust, if that makes any sense. So a lot of people are kind of asking, like, hey, are the horses coming in now? I wish. Um, it's just the farming stuff for now. But we do know the next scheduled piece is going to be horses. Okay. Uh, let's back up here. Let's make sure we got everything here. Uh, cloning is a big deal now. Um, once you have access to it or once a plant's past sapling or in sapling or past it, you can hold the action button or use the quick action on top of if you want to clone that plant. We could kind of do it before, but it was kind of like, a, yeah, why would you? But now if you like the traits, this is definitely something that you do want to do, especially if they're all green. little tip for you. Uh, also talking about tips, uh, clean water is definitely a thing. If you want to sabotage somebody's base, throw a little bit of salt water outside their walls. Wink! It'll destroy the crop plots. Not completely, but it'll destroy any water that's inside. Yes, that's going to be a thing. You're welcome. Also something to help combat against a swale. Uh, let's see. I think we got most everything. Oh, yes, the terrain updates. Um, the terrain update not only brings in all that performance, but also a lot of flat land for not only horses, but as we kind of mentioned earlier, you can see a map here on the PC side. The ring road is used for vehicles, but also is very great for horses. You can see the main road around the island, but then there's also these sub pathways or smaller roads as well. Uh, roads are smoothed out to traverse uh, with vehicles much easier. Uh, so still no official word there, but I got to tell you, after seeing all these new junk piles and stuff, this didn't come in on PC until modular vehicles were a thing. And these are all over the place now. So it's going to be pretty crazy. So yeah, very exciting update. Can't wait for you guys to check it out if you haven't already. We'll be out there doing this live on stream. We got a ton of videos out there already. Uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comments. Also, if you're looking to just get started and you need a good rust farm setup, whether you're going to use it in your base or in your honeycomb, we've got